Hello, this is Matt Rogers from Salisbury Elementary School. Today I'm here to talk to you about our Math Expressions Unit 1, Lesson 1. The essential question today is how do I identify the place value of numbers through the thousands place? Up until this uh, point, the expectation from third grade, since this is the first lesson in the math curriculum for fourth grade, the expectation is place value identification up to hundreds is known already. So we are going to kind of build off what we already know and move forward, looking at a variety of different, um, different versions. The first thing to talk about is the dot array method, and the dot array uh, is a method used to identify um, in a accurate but visual way different place values, which we'll look at a little bit more later. As I look at the activities that we were doing in class, the first thing I want to point out is the vocabulary at the top. Um, obviously, place value drawings is a key vocabulary. Um, what we're saying is, instead of just having Instead of having just place value numbers and identifying those, uh, the place value drawing, which more or less you can see right here, is a visual representation of that same amount. And it is done on a dot array plane to show exact amounts. Okay? So, um, first thing we did, again, as you can see in question number one, talks about the place value drawings on a dot array. Um, we talk about what the number uh, does the drawing show below. And we have, at this point, three key vocabulary words that we're going to also add. They're not necessarily um, less in vocabulary, but they're the way we refer to the different place values. First off, we have numbers in the ones. I'm just going to change color real quick so you can see the ones here. And those are just called ones. After that, we have what we call quick tens, okay? And quick tens are simply quick to count, if you, kind of like a, um, a um, like a tally system. And then last is we talk about our hundreds boxes. And that's just when I look at these different images, when I see the box, I know that that's a value of 100. If I see the line, that's the value of a 10. And if I see a circled dot array, that means 1. So I can quickly look at this picture and calculate how much everything is. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 500 boxes, which gives me 500. Okay, I have three quick 10s, which is 30. And then I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ones. And then I can then add all of those totals up to figure out that what's being displayed in my place value drawing is 537. All right. Next, what we're looking at is. Um, expanding to thousands. So if you look at the picture on the right hand side you'll see that it still has those quick ones while it's much smaller this time. Um, you can see the quick one, uh, excuse me, the ones, the quick tens, and you can still see those hundred boxes. But in addition um, to more of a proportion um, you can see that we have what's called thousand bars. And those are significantly longer, obviously um, for every hundred box, or for every thousand bar, there's ten hundred boxes. So that's why they are so long. We show this first to give the students an idea of exactly how large and how how big of a scale difference it is between the different place values. So when looking at this, what we did is we went through and the students identified how many ones were there, how many quick tens, how many hundred boxes, and how many thousand bars. Um, referring to previous conversations, we then looked at how many hundred boxes we can draw inside each thousand bar, which just emphasizes what we've learned, and then what is the total amount shown.
The next thing that we worked on is uh, since the dot array, while it is accurate and helpful to look at because um, it is so accurate, um, it is very challenging to um, to draw accurately um, with white border markers. Uh, we have actual mats that we write on. Um, it is very difficult to make sure you have the exact amount. Um, so what we have is just place value drawings without using the dot array. It still uses the same uh, vocabulary, the thousand bar, the hundred boxes, the quick tens, and the ones. But instead of being necessarily accurate for space, it's a little bit easier to um, create and also view. So you can see um, when identifying how many are here, I have 1,000 bar, 200 boxes, so 1,200. And then I have five tallies plus two tallies, which gives me seven tallies, and I have nine ones. So the value that I have there is 1,279. Okay? We continued going further by... We continued going further by identifying how would that value change if I added three more hundreds to it. If I uh, replaced the hundreds boxes with zero, how would I write that number differently? So you can see all the different variations. If I had five fewer ones, what would that number be? Just to manipulate the different place values. On the next page, we just took some different place value amounts and created drawings. So I'll do an example one. If I were to be um, doing 603, I'm going to do 600 boxes. Again, I'm not worried about them being perfect as long as they can see that they're 100 boxes. So I have 600 boxes and then three ones. And obviously these are larger um, than how they have it in the book, but the students get the idea of the circles represent ones, the boxes represent hundreds, so when I put them all together, I have 603. And then uh, moving up into the thousands, I'll just take a moment to go through this one real quick. So if I were doing uh, 29, it would be 2,000 bars. We're looking at 500 boxes. Again, they're not to scale. I'm not worried about that as much, especially since I'm not using the dot array. Nine quick tens and six ones. So that is just the general idea of what it looks like um, to, to go through this activity. So that is uh, what we covered in Unit 1, Lesson 1, drawing, uh, representing place values in uh, up to the thousands place. We'll build on this in further lessons, but hopefully this was helpful, and if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Thank you.